Hey guys, so I'm back for another video and today I recently went shopping again. I shouldn't have, but I did and I can't help it. Anyways, um, so this is going to be just kind of like a short haul. I only went to a couple places, but this is probably going to be one of the last hauls that I'm going to be doing for just a little bit. Um, I need to start saving my money so I can, you know, like move out and do all that stuff. Anyways, um, going right into it, I'm just going to start from the shoes that I got and unlike normal shoes, um, well, these probably aren't going to be the shoes that y'all are expecting, but I needed a new pair of running shoes. So I just got these. They are Under Armour, and these are the, where's the box? Uh, Women's Micro G Assertive 5 in black, white, and pink, I'm assuming. And yeah, there's just a new pair of running shoes. I just needed some. So, moving on. The next two items that I'm going to show you are mugs. Um, I got these from a store called Fuego, and the first one looks like this. It just says, Namaste, bitches. And yeah, I'm a sucker for mugs. I love mugs uh, so much. And yeah, moving on to the next one. This next one is green, and it has an octopus on it. And I just thought it was super cute. The inside's blue. I just thought that was super cute, and I need more mugs. Always use a good coffee mug. Moving on to the rest of the stuff that I got at Fuego. So one of the first things that I got is, I don't know if you can see these earrings, these just really tiny uh, squares. Those are sterling silver, and they are by the brand Boma, if you care. The next thing that I got is this. Uh, paper crane ring right there and same brand as well the next item that I got was also a ring and I haven't opened this one yet or I haven't like taken the tie off or anything but it's Baltic amber and let's see if it'll focus focus for me there you go you can kind of see it um it's super pretty it's really tiny you can see how tiny it is. And I thought it was super cute. And I really liked it. So, I got that. I only have a couple more things in this bag. The next thing that I got is this necklace. That's silver, like, kind of a... I think it's called, like, a collar necklace or something like that. And then the last thing that I got is this necklace, which is just a crystal for positive energy. And I have the matching earrings for this. So now I can be all crystal out with my necklace and everything. And Okay, that was that. That was kind of weird. So moving on. Um, all of the next stuff that I got, I got from Sephora. So... The first thing that I got is this, which is a oh, makeup case, and it has so many, so many holes in it, little brush, container holder, places, spots, thingamabobs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I just thought that would be really good for hopefully my new job and just, you know, traveling taking my brushes with me the next thing that I got so let me grab the other one out of the bag um, so I finally got this rosebud salve by Smith's and it smells it smells pretty pleasant um, I'm not much of a rose scented person like that's what it looks like it's just pink salve um, you can use it wherever you want um, because it is a salve, you can use it on your lips, you can use it as perfume, you could use it as, I don't know. I don't know what other people use salves for. 
and it smells very pleasant though the next one that i got this one was right next to it it is just the straw strawberry oh my gosh if i can speak correctly um lip balm and it's also just pink this one kind of reminds me of like the lip smackers strawberry kind of scent the let's see next thing in here oh this uh brush i've always wanted one of these brushes so let me just open it real quick i was not prepared for this at all all right it's one of these this is what it looks like and my fingerprints are all over it and it just has this little thing so to keep all the bristles protected but oh god how embarrassing um I already used it, so that was my error. Sorry. And it's just one of these. It's one of the ones that's not supposed to tug at your hair, which is super nice. And it feels really nice. And it's not catching on any of my curls because with curly hair, um, it is hard to brush it sometimes. That's why I don't brush it a lot. Um, I mean, I, I brush it when I get out of the shower, but like throughout the day, I don't brush it just because it's hard. Um, ooh, sorry, I had to pick stuff off the floor, but it's just, it's hard to, um, like not have any knots in there. So that's pretty difficult. The next thing that I got, oh, this was a sample of this Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum and I don't know what this is supposed to do oh our smart serum responds to skin's individual needs visibly repairs lines wrinkles dark spots uneven tones and firms and imparts radiance so what does this even smell like just it smells okay um I don't know let me just put a little on my Oh, there's some. Um, I don't know if I'll actually use that. I might, but I don't really use, like, serums and all that kind of stuff. Oh, my God, I put way too much. Oh, God, that smells, like, gross. Yeah, I don't know if I'll use this. It smells gross. Oh. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'll use that. Uh, it smelled kind of weird and gross oh uh, let's see next in here is the pro shader brush and i really like that they put these little like, plastic protector thingies over their brushes because it really helps when you're like traveling and you don't want the bristles to get all like broken and shit let me just ugh. finally jeez out of case why is it so hard to open i didn't even get all the plastic off oh my god i'm sorry bear with me all right there we go oh oh it's free all right so that's what it looks like it's just a tiny small shader brush um yeah really nothing special to it it's from their pro line so it has the oh excuse me chrome um I don't know, whatever you call it. Barrel. That's what it's called. Alright, the next thing in here I just picked up. You know how they have like a little like section with all the travel stuff by the um the checkout counters. So this is the Bucks or the X Formula versus Kat Von D. Um that's what the box looks like. I chose the purple one. They also had the black one, but since I don't wear black lipstick, I was like, mm, nah. So basically, they just gave you a tiny Formula X right here that is, oh, can you even see that color? Um, it's supposed to match the Kat Von D lip color. As you can see, it has Kat Von D on the back of it. And the lip color that I got is in Poe. And I'm sure you guys have seen this color many, many times, but it is gorgeous. I know it kind of looks black on camera, but let me just swatch. Oh, this color is going to be so pretty. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. 
but it is this i know it looks black in the tube but it's actually like this really dark blue with like purple flecks in it super pretty i've never had a color lipstick that was so dark so start with this um i got the benefits they are real fat or they're real mascara in blue because i've been really wanting blue mascara and um the only reason why i bought expensive because i love like drugstore mascara like maybelline covergirl uh what's the other one yeah, I just use Maybelline mascaras, honestly, um, or CoverGirl mascaras. But the only reason why is because they don't make blue mascaras. So I had to finally, I finally found some, and I really wanted some, so I got it. And that's how blue it is, super blue. Um, I don't know, I just thought this would be great for just sometimes my lower lashes when I don't want to put mascara on there, but I kind of do. Just do a blue one, that's what it looks like. Um, I really like that it's in this blue tube, so that way... You kind of know like which one's the blue one all right the next two things I have in here are roller balls this first one is by Artele Cologne and it's in orange sanguine it is just a small spray bottle and that's like their version of like a roller ball but it smells so good guys so this is what it looks like. Ba -ba -da -da. Go orange. It smells like straight oranges. Just oh. Oh. Mm. like I kind of smell like a manly orange right now, but I don't care. It smells so good. This next one though, um, it's by the brand Nest Fragrances, which I've never heard of before, and it's in Midnight Fleur. And oh my god, guys, look at just look at the packaging. <laughs> look at it. It's so pretty. I love those flowers. I don't even know what they are, but it's so pretty. And guys, this smells so good. Oh my god. All right. This is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is true to the packaging, um, unlike some brands that their packaging is really cute, but then you look out and the product's like kind of ugly. But oh, it's. It has just the right of like musky and like just a hint of vanilla. Let me see if it gives a description on here. Let's see. Ah, uh, crap. It has jar and oil. Well, hopefully I'm not allergic to it. But it doesn't have like a description on the box. Oh my god. Can we not knock this over? But it's kind of like a little vanilla-y. With just like a hint of like floral in there somewhere but I just thought that smelled really good and the last thing in here I was so excited for the first Sephora that I went into um, didn't have it actually they were sold out there was a lot, of, a lot of stuff at the first one that I went to but so I had to drive all the way to the one that's like across the highway I'm like way far down anyways it is these Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, yes, I'm finally hopping on that bandwagon, but the colors in here are so, so pretty. Oh, my goodness. oh, there goes the brush. Anyways, the color that attracted me most was definitely this one in Thrash. And I just have to swatch this real quick. Look, let's see if it focuses. This is such a bright, like, green color. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. All right. Let's see. Ready? And bam. Oh, my God. That color is beautiful. So pretty. It's so sparkly. So, like, bright. Oh, bright and vibrant. It has the magnetic closure on the case. Packaging is super duper cute. And yeah, came with a brush. Brush fell one second. So let me just, uh, oh, nice. It's like a purple, purple brush. Anyways, well, that was it for my haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And if you want to go follow me on Instagram, I will link that in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.
Bye.